Assalamu alaikum. Hello there. About a month ago, I made a post about Rishi Sunak, the man who almost became the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. But alhamdulillah, he did not. In fact, he lost. And another woman, Liz Truss, won the UK Prime Minister race. The most heard by this were Indians, more specifically Indian Hindus. And of course Hindus will be heard because Rishi has openly declared himself as a proud Hindu. But what do we as Muslims have to do anything with this? Actually, we have a lot to do with this. Nusrat Ghani, a Muslim UK member of parliament, lost her job because of her faith. I will not talk about Muslim politicians, but for now, let's just focus that she was a Muslim. That's all that matters. Before the Prime Minister race, Member of Parliament sent letters to both the candidates about their plans to counter Islamophobia. They also urged the candidates to release the contents of the investigation in the case of MP Nusrat Khani. The links will be in the description box below and I urge everyone to read the websites. Sunak literally ignored the letter, while Listras said that she would take an intolerant approach to Islamophobia. But Sunak threatened what he called Islamic extremists and he also said that he would refocus the anti-terror plan on Islamists. This is the duality of Hindus, stress that Muslims are bad, Muslims are terrorists, but don't do anything about Islamophobia. Sunak is also known for his viral Gao Puja in the streets of London. Imagine this kind of degeneracy in the most civilized society in the world. This is exactly why Liz Truss' victory is important for the Muslims. Who do we want as our Prime Minister? Someone who worships cows in the streets of London, who doesn't want to do anything about Islamophobia? Or do we want someone who at least pledged that she will do something about Islamophobia? The choice is ours, because Liz Truss already won.